Hey guys, MX Sniper 5 here, and today I am doing a review on probably one of the greatest gravity fed hoppers out there on the market today. Yes, this is the Proto Primo loader or hopper. This is a very, very nice hopper. Um, I'm going to start out by uh, just kind of giving you a basic overview of the gun or of uh, the loader. Sorry, uh, when you take it out of this package, um, you can see it's a very slim very sleek um, hopper um, this is what the enemy's view to the hopper is going to be like so you can obviously see that um, it's not boxy like the old traditional gravity fed hoppers I mean look at that um, a paintball hits this thing it's I mean it's going to be it'll you know it'll break but a paintball hits this it'll just slide off the side it's so sleek and so smooth um, it has a nice lip here for the lid. I mean, you barely, or hold on, you barely got to apply any pressure to this thing, and wham, it flips right open. Very, very nice feature. It's also got a shelf in there. Let's see if I can get better light. You can see that, um, that shiny line kind of in the middle of the hopper. That is the uh, paintball shelf for this hopper, and that's what makes this hopper what it is. That shelf runs along in here, and it holds all the weight off all the paintballs that are stacked up in the hopper. So um, this works off the gun's vibration. So when the gun is shooting, uh, vibrate the vibration travels up to the shelf, and it shakes paintballs off on the front side of the loader and the back side of the loader down towards the feed neck, and uh, it allows for um, the balls to go into the feed neck very very um, smoothly um, compared to the old traditional where there constantly be a pressure of um, like let's say like around a hundred paintballs weighing down on the feed neck paintballs would get pinched in there because there'd be so much pressure and you have to shake them down pinch them so they roll down but no not this one plus this resembles the die rotor I mean how how cool is that um, I will say there is going to be haters out there to this hopper, but they're using this hopper on electronic guns. Um, yeah, this could be used on electronic guns, maybe slow ones. Um, but, I mean, this has a feed rate, an average feed rate of 10 balls per second. It could maybe get 15, I've heard, um, but it's pushing what it can do. But uh, I'm, only, I'm using this on the Tipman 98 Custom, so, I mean... This thing isn't, I know this thing won't fail me. But anyways, I'm going to do a drop test of both hop, of two hoppers. It's going to be the standard gravity hopper. Hang on a second. Um, it's going to be the standard gravity hopper and, uh, and the Proto Primo. Yeah, can you see here? Sorry, I'm just trying to get adjusted here. Um, yeah. The original gravity fed hopper and 140 um, paintballs. Alright, here we go. Let's switch. Okay. Alright, I don't know if you can see that, but that wasn't that bad. Um. Yeah, original 200 round hopper. Now, for the Proto Primo. Now, I am going to say there's no motor in here, no batteries required. This is all gravity fed. This thing is magic. I mean, it's really nice. And it, um, the way they designed it, any pod, I mean, I just got a standard, just a standard pod. But, I mean, the pods fit very nice. But, uh, here we go. Hold on a second. Alright. Alright. That was pretty fast, actually. Uh, there's a few paintballs in there because of the shelf. But, uh, I think that was a little bit faster than the gravity fed. And, uh... It'll be even faster on the gun 
because of the vibration will be constantly constantly going but uh, yeah so that was my review of the Proto Primo loader hope you guys enjoyed uh, please comment um, rate subscribe and uh, have fun out there on the field be safe alright this is MX Sniper 5 here thanks for watching